Hello, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and stay. I would love to have you as a part of our YouTube family. So today I have some fun things to share with you. I made another one of these Traveler's Notebook Hummingbird Journals. This was a custom order and I will put in the description box below the link where you can get this and also a coupon code so you can get a percentage off if you want one yourself. Each one is unique but has a lot of similar things. So um, one of the signature things for this journal um, is this little cutout. I use a punch to cut out the cover card stock and then I place some hummingbirds behind it. So you have that really beautiful frame effect and then I use this as a tsunami rose hummingbird. Um, and then I have sewing, I added lace to the spine of this one. There's 60 pages, so it's more than my normal traveler's notebook, so it's nice and chunky. Um, really great to put into a cover. And then these are special because they have um, embroidery in them. And I'm gonna start just selling the embroidery in my shop because I really think that's something you guys might like. So let me know in the description box below if this is something that you would like. Um, you can check the link don't let me know in the description box let me know in the comments below you check the description box where you can purchase this find the link and then also any other types that you would like embroidered because I do have an embroidery machine so I have a set of four available in my shop and um, the colors of the fabric and the colors of the um, thread may vary depending upon you know which ones I'm stitching but here's here's examples anyway and then what I'm gonna do is instead of cutting it down when I put them in journals as you'll see when we do this flip through I cut it out like I fussy cut it out and I glue it in but I'm gonna leave it on the full length of fabric that way you can do a fabric tip in you could do it as the cover of a journal it gives you so much more or you could cut it down if you want to and just keep the scraps I'm also gonna leave the stabilizer on the back and you can um, cut that off or um, if it doesn't tear off, just trim it. You can trim it off or tear it off depending upon the kind of stabilizer that I used. That way, if you wanna have extra durability, like if you're making it into a cover, then you have that option. So here's some examples of what they will look like. I have several different designs. These are only four of them and um, I think they're so pretty. So it's a set of four in my shop. So please um, check that out because I think you'll enjoy that. So let's get into how I designed or what I put into this journal. So um, I really liked how this one came out and you might be able to hear my printer going. I'm printing an order off as I'm filming this. I uh, lined this with wallpaper, a wallpaper sample that is also coffee dyed. Um, I was brushing coffee onto this particular sample because it's rather embossed and then I was laying coffee dye paper on it to kind of pick up that stencil effect or that stamping effect but the coffee dried on it and left this beautiful aging effect so I left that on here and so this just covers you know the the hummingbird paper that was put on there and so here's a little pocket I must have flowers always and always and then here is a big tag this journal is going to a lady who is going to be using it with her family to document and keep the photos that they take of the hummingbirds that um, drink at their feeders and eat at their feeders so I thought that was wonderful so we have some digital curio hummingbird paper which is beautiful some real vintage um, like ledger like cop um, staples type paper and we have a ivy stamp we have little telegrams from tsunami rose paper ribbons coffee dyed papers a tsunami rose label book pages other various printed papers I think this is dream up graphic um, I think this is Seneca Pond this is digital curio I love her hummingbird papers. This is TLC Creates Vintage, and I don't think she actually has this kit for sale. This was a like a test kit she sent me, and she said I could go ahead and use it, and so I put that there. Another digital curio hummingbird on there. Here is a little um, tag that I made, a little bit of embellishment. I love how this uh, spread in this page came out. This is the part that was punched out from the cover and then I stitched a little Tim Holtz flower and that made a tuck spot and this is an actual vintage um, ticket. So I just put that there, Philadelphia Transportation Company. This is an actual one, it is not a reprint. So I added that there. 
And then these are from my John Gold Hummingbird Bound book. I will link that below with a coupon as well. Um, there's, I wanna say there's like 60 different images or something like that in that book that you can use. And here's one of them. And we have some ephemera. This is Tsunami Rose and that is backed with coffee dyed paper. TLC Creates Vintage. This is new. I am so happy with this paper. I spent more than I usually do for digital paper because of how absolutely gorgeous it was. When I'm purchasing digital paper, I usually don't like to spend more than $3 and change for a pack of paper, digital paper, but this one was more like $5.10 and it was definitely worth it. I am kind of trying to build up my hummingbird collection. And the shop, um, I think it has like a Russian, it's like Mastrova or something like that. I don't remember, but I will put the shop link in the description box below so you can check out her shop. This is not sponsored. It's not part of my Etsy archaeology. It's just something that I purchased because I wanted to use it specifically in this journal. And then here's another one of my John Gold hummingbirds from my bound book. And then we have a Tsunami Rose telegram and then a Monopoly chance card. Excuse me. Avert a disaster for the moment. Here's a little Stampin' Up uh, stamp that I added there, some washi and a die cut button. These die cut buttons are also in my shop. They're wonderful because they add no bulk. So I will try to link that below if I remember when I'm linking all the things down below. This again is from that new shop. Beautiful, beautiful. A little Tim Holtz card. Um, and then this is from my book and then on the back this is kind of cool and I just wanted to show you guys this this is from that new shop but this is not the colors my magenta on my new printer was not printing and I had to clean the print head and the nozzle it was like really messed up and so the magenta just totally didn't print at all it didn't leave any bad streaks it just didn't print and so instead of throwing it out Obviously, this is supposed to be more of like a pink flower and there's supposed to be reds and pinks. I just left it because I thought it was really pretty. Um, so I just backed this with that um, unique thing. So you can use those mistakes in your journals. There's another stamp. And here is an example of one of the embroidered um, hummingbirds fussy cut out and then just glued on the page for something to look at. And then there's a paper flower and a telegram. And then this is um, this is from Tracy Love from her travel kit, I believe. But I love the colors with this. This was just from a botanical book. I was cutting out a whole bunch of things from a book that I had got at a used bookstore. A whole bunch of like little flower cards. So I added that. Another one from my bound book. And then we're kind of winding up with the back side of everything. So this is interesting. It is a bookmark that I made. And this is the another beautiful paper from that new shop. And then I backed it with this parchment-like paper. And then I added some grid. This was from leftover from one of the Tsunami Rose pages. And so you could add, she can add pictures of the hummingbirds here and maybe note when she saw them or found them or something like that. And then there's a little rose oval from Digital Collage Club. This is from my uh, bound book of hummingbirds, Tim Holtz. I added a little fabric flip for some secret journaling or for adding a photo underneath. And again, I cut this out of um, one of the flower books that I have. Stamping, this is again cut from that flower book. There's a little border and then some washi and my stamp. And here you can see the beautiful um, coffee dyed paper. So that is that. There will be so much information in the description box below. So please check it all out. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.